does size really matter of that? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out. I think it does. Let's see what you guys think. I don't think it does. I do. We'll see. We'll see. She was right. So guys, we are talking about the sizes of RVs. What size should I get? Should I get a 20 foot, 30 foot? How big do you want? Uh, what type of RV do you want? Do you want a travel trailer that is a bumper pull? Do you want a fifth wheel? That's fifth wheels that hitch up and they sit in the bed of the truck. Maybe you want something lighter. A pop-up we've done videos about that um, maybe you want the big class A and maybe so a car you behind you so and and bring a car behind you yeah are you doing full timing are you doing this full time let us know maybe you're doing it you just want something for the weekend so if you're new here thanks for joining us my name's Daniel. I'm Jennifer. And we talk about tips and tricks about RVs and we do play, go places and show you the best places to go camping. So let's jump in. So for me, I think there are two different, there's two different types of sizes. So there's the size that you want to think about if you're pulling or know if you have the fifth wheel but then also there's the size of the actual inside of the RV if you're gonna be part-time or full-time you probably don't want a 20-foot travel trailer because there's not a lot of space but if you're just a weekend warrior a 20-foot might be okay unless you have kids or big dogs or a little bit bigger of a family and that comes with you when you go camping so then you're gonna to want to look into something a little bigger maybe like a 30-foot or a 32-foot um, but then along with getting a longer travel trailer, you got to think about what you're towing with and how, what you have will, if it will tow well, or if you're going to have to, you know, figure out what you're doing. So one thing that Daniel and I did was when we sold our 20 foot travel trailer that we had, that we were towing with our Toyota Tacoma, that was the start of us getting a new truck and getting a new trailer. Obviously we haven't gotten our new trailer yet, um, but we did a lot of research before we did that. So that way we made sure that we got the right truck. So if you've seen our video of us buying our new truck, we have a Ram 2500 Cummins diesel, which is what we need to tow our new trailer because we're going to get probably a 35 foot, 35 foot, about yeah. a 35 foot. And so you need a bigger truck with a lot more horsepower and a lot more towing power if you plan on getting a bigger trailer. So when we say sizes, we don't just mean you the pulling or, you know, towing or whatever. We also mean the inside. How much space do you want when you're camping? If you're camping with other people or if you're going to be full time, you probably want enough moving around space to be able to relax and be comfortable when you're sitting in your trailer, wherever you may be and things like that. So yep. um, for me, that's what I think we mean when we say does size matter? So for me, size does matter. So when I said size doesn't matter, I don't think it matters is because you want to get out there and explore. S start with renting a trailer. Get a smaller one or get something that you think that you'll be able to tow. Then you can try and see what you like before you go out and buy one and figure it out. Then you can be like, okay, maybe size does matter to you. Maybe you want the big 40 foot class A or fancy, fancy, whatever you may have. All the stuff yeah. called glamping. And there's some pretty expensive ones, pretty nice class A's out there. Um, even the even the fifth wheels, um, they're pretty nice as well. Uh, 
the difference we think is between a fifth wheel and a travel trailer is your storage space. Yep. So talking about full-time living, you storage have is important. you have a lot more storage in what's commonly called the basement. That's the underneath the living space. You have a ton of storage, and but that comes with the length of how much, how big do you want the trailer? So. A uh, 20 foot trailer that we had didn't really have that much space. And so you had to maximize, we had to try to maximize all the space we could. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to go back and see some of the modifications we did to that trailer, you can check out those videos in our playlist. You want to try to get in between that 35, 37 foot range. Um, smaller is good for state parks county parks um some places you just can't fit a big long trailer in some of these parks that if you want to go to like we've heard yellowstone or glacier national park or places like that they don't accommodate those bigger travel trailers or those bigger fifth wheels or even those bigger class a's um, but also like if you plan on going to utah and exploring utah there are roads that are super narrow that actually are not exactly the safest to travel on if you have a longer trailer, a longer fifth wheel, or a bigger um, motorhome like a Class A. So that's also something to take into consideration. Yeah. And I think trying to get under bridges, yep. um, you've got to make sure that you're going down roads, like she said. Make mm -hmm. sure that you're not going to hit a bridge and knock or... off your air conditioner. <laughs> yeah. We've seen that in a couple of videos. We've seen that happen. Yeah. Um, like the yeah. can opener. Just takes the whole trailer off. Yep. So we have a good friend of ours who um, actually watches. I think she's probably our number one fan on here. Hey, Madison. Um, so like for her, she is going to hit the road for, I think, just a year is what she said. And she's just going to get a camper van because it's just her and her dog. Um, mm -hmm. And that's gonna be plenty of space for her. So everybody has different ideas and different ways that they plan to either hit the road just temporarily or weekending or whatever you may have. Everybody likes to do something different. Yep. So I think she's gonna start a YouTube channel. Maybe, I don't yeah. know. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. we'll I don't see. Know. Maybe, Maybe we can talk her into it. Madison, a, I can help you. A challenge for you, Madison. <laughs> but. Anyway, uh, yeah, I forgot, that's a good point. I forgot to mention camper vans. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you guys know of Trenton Alley. They started out in a camper, a van. camper van. With a dog. With a dog. Yeah. And love those guys, love watching them. Now they them live on. in Terry while they're building their cabin, which is so amazing. We love their channel, we're kind of obsessed. Yep. We watch them as often as we can. Um, so. But yeah, they, and, and they're, there was two of them and a dog and they started out in a camper van and they made it work. So it's really just whatever you guys preference and if you want more space or if you think that you can live in a less space, um, one of the reasons why we're going on the road is because less is more for us. Um, we are okay with having less so that we can live our life and really have those experiences and really jo enjoy um, all the things out there like Great Grand Teton. Um, places in Colorado, places in Utah, all that stuff. So we, we just want to get out there and experience life and explore what this world has for us. So, yep. And so guys, if you like this video, if you're getting value out of it and you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing to our channel, hit the bell notification because you'll be notified every time we release a video and give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us out as well. Yes. Like I said, give us a comment down below. Mm -hmm. What you liked about this? What are your thoughts? Do you want to get a fifth wheel? Do you want to get a travel trailer? Are you wanting to go full time? Maybe. If and this was helpful, if there was anything we missed that you might want to know, um, obviously drop that in the comments below. That way we can improve for our next video. We're not perfect at this, guys, and we're learning and we're just trying to help you guys out. And we're just trying to make sure that the community of people who camp and RV and things like that, that we're helping each other because that's what it's about, right? 
It's about community and it's about helping each other and yeah. developing those relationships with other people. So that's really why we're here. We're just trying to make sure that we're giving you guys info that we have learned and gained from previous experiences and things like that. So anything helps, guys. Yeah. With that being said, always remember to cherish the journey and cherish the moments that you're in. And stay tuned because our next video, we're going on an adventure and you guys are not going to want to miss it. So on that note, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.